Last night, we packed our cases and headed to the north coast of Madeira. Little did we know that one of the most magical places we had ever been was waiting for us the next day. We are so excited to share it with you. But before we get there, we stopped at a few cool places along the way. Hey everyone, we are Anna and Travis, husband and wife based in the Netherlands, but traveling at any opportunity we get. In this video, we are taking you to the north of Madeira, Portugal, after the most incredible few days in the south of the island. So in case you missed the first two episodes of our Madeira series, make sure to check those out. Where are we? <laughs> North coast, but we're in the middle of the island here. We're staying in a guest house just to find it's brilliant. And it's completely different from Funchal. We only drove 30 minutes to get here, but it's just another world. So what are you having to drink? I'm having a brisa. I thought she said brisa. Something other. I don't know what that is. This is yummy. Due to a slight miscommunication on our side, we ended up ordering almost every dish on the menu. There was scabbard fish, octopus, vegetables, salad, boiled potatoes, french fries, and also rice. Good thing that it was all delicious. How is the honey cake? It's good. It's very cinnamony. You feel it on your tongue. I'm not sure nice. what this is. What does it taste like? Is it good? Or is it good? I think it's raspberry. Oh. It's like a mushroom. Mm. This one here. It's sage. Wow. On the right, we've got a chicken hen. This is where our fresh eggs from this morning for breakfast came from. Ooh, there's a pungent smell. And above us, we've got the grapes. <laughs> ah, there's the rooster. It's a bit late. <laughs> After a tranquil morning at our B&B, our goal for the day was to visit the north, uh, north, west. Coast of Madeira, so everything west of Sao Vicente before the sun set. We drove all along the coastal road, which lay beneath lush green mountains scattered with waterfalls. stop was only accessible by cable car. There are seven scenic cable cars around Madeira in total. Some bring you to places otherwise not accessible by foot or car, including the cable car at Achadas da Cruz. Oh, going down with that cable car. Tiny, rusty old There's a little shop with drinks and snacks at the top of the cable car, as there are no anemones at the bottom. Although the clear water looked tempting, due to strong currents, it's not advised to swim. So, we went for a little walk instead. Okay, we're trying to make it to the end of the path in Chade de Cruz. And there's no one here to be seen. But Anna. <laughs> I'm still tired from the previous few days. Okay, let's see. We can make this. It's not too far. This cable car 
our trip down to Ashada, the cruise has turned into our hike today. <laughs> the view is pretty amazing. And it's absolutely empty. What is that? It's a fig tree. It's a fig tree. <laughs> We're gonna come back in a month. Another reason to come back to Madeira. 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 Tastes just like pip cook, just a little bit denser, but really tasty. After our sweaty walk, we decided to take a dip in the ocean. And what better place to do so than these gorgeous natural pools formed by lava? Natural pools. Are you gonna go swimming there? Just right of the official Porto Manis natural pools are the Cachalot pools, which we swam in. They are free of charge and just as, if not more, worthwhile, as these are completely natural. We had built up an appetite from swimming, but decided to make just one more short stop before lunch at Seychelles Black Sand Beach. This is one of the few sandy beaches on the island. It's a little seafood place <laughs> near Seychelles. After our late lunch, it was time to head to the ecological park in Fanal if we still wanted to catch the sunset from the top of the mountain. The road up the mountain was immersed in clouds. As we climbed higher, the sun started to break through the clouds and all at once we were above them. We are in Fanal and I think it's called the Lorisol Forest, which is a UNESCO site. What's behind you? I don't know. <laughs> On both sides? How long did it take you to get to heaven? <laughs> it took about 10 minutes for this walk. <laughs> in between cows yeah some of the cows made it to heaven as you can see <laughs> yeah go ahead i'll see you in the real heaven then <laughs> Fifteen to forty million years ago, much of southern Europe was covered in laurel forest, like the one here in Fanal. This is a type of subtropical forest found in areas with high humidity and mild temperatures. Madeira boasts the largest surviving laurel forest, which is home to many species of plants and animals endemic to Madeira. The cows grazing in the pasture the sound of the trees swaying in the evening breeze and frogs croaking in a distant pond made us feel like we had landed in the midst of a fairy tale. Few places have made us feel as we did that evening in the Funnel Forest. In the upcoming video, we'll be sharing our experience of the northeast of Madeira. If you don't want to miss our final episode on Madeira, consider subscribing to our channel. 